Most of us have seen a photo of the virus, a giant sphere covered in spiky proteins. Well, it turns out those spikes are covered in sugar, says UC San Diego chemist Rami Amaro. And it's those spike proteins that are really the, the main infection machinery of the virus. And these are the bits of the virus that get really heavily decorated with this sugary coating so that our immune system can't, uh, you know, can't detect it in the body. Many cells in our body also have sugar coatings. Amaro says viruses, like the coronavirus, have adapted to be covered in sugar so they can blend in and survive and be more infectious. The human system thinks it's just sort of similar to what should be in the body and then doesn't attack it. The existence of this coating is well-known research, Amaro says. But what's new is that her lab used a supercomputer to zoom in on the virus and figure out what these sugary spikes actually look like. There are some holes in the shield, and these are so-called vulnerabilities. And this is why it becomes really important to know what it looks like, because if we can identify where those open areas in the shield are, it gives us a better chance to potentially design neutralizing antibodies. Amaro says the research will help with vaccine and antiviral design so that they are more effective. Shalina Chatlani, KPBS News.